What are you doing? Treasure hunt? Kind of. I lost my bravery button. So, it's just a dumb button. Gabby's smile disappeared for a second. Not because she believed him, but because that tiny comment felt real. Gabby stood up straighter. She wiped her wet hands on her jacket like she was wiping off the big kid's comments, too. Okay, it's time for a new plan. New plan for a button? Yep, because it matters to me, and I've got to go. When I first started making animated stories a few years ago, I had zero clue what I was doing. But after creating thousands of these little videos, I've created my own simple formula. And today, I'll share it with you. I'll show you exactly how I made Gabby and Pepper's Brave Adventure Story, step by step, and give you a peek at the exact tools I used to bring it to life. If you've got imagination and some time, you're halfway there. Let's get started. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do for this story is actually create the script and make the story even better. To start, I came up with this idea about a little girl and a kitten who lost something. Next, I came to ChatGPT and I asked it to help me fill it out more and complete the flow of what happens scene to scene. So it did. It gave me a starting script and broke it down for me. After reading through it, I suggested some changes, made edits and deletions until all the problems were fixed. A few rewrites later, I came back and asked ChatGPT to create prompts for me, for the images, the characters, actions, and all of that. Now, everything here is all laid out, okay? Scene by scene, what the characters are doing, the way the characters look, and everything. So now that that's ready, I'm ready to go on to the next step. Now it's time to start creating my images and I'm coming to one of my favorite places of all, design, to do this work. This set of AI tools does everything. It makes images, videos, you name it. You can see down here just a little bit of what they offer. There's an image editor, you can make AI characters, create AI videos, it does lip sync. I mean, it does everything. So this is my favorite tool besides Canva and ChatGPT, of course. So anyway, let's go in here. I'll log in first. Okay, and now you can see what it looks like inside here. If you look over here, you can see several things. You can see a few projects that I made recently. Here are the most popular tools, image to video, consistent characters, lip sync, image to video enhancing, face swap, storyboard, text to image, etc. Down here are lots of amazing tutorials teaching you how to use these tools. There's just a lot. So what I'll do first is go to text to image and click on that. I'll go up here to the top, choose 16 by nine and click apply. The available tools here are amazing. Flux, Sea Dream, Nano Banana, Mid Journey, Ideogram. There's a lot, so experiment and find the ones you like best. For today, I'm going to use Nano Banana, so I'll click on that. Here, you can see how much it's going to cost to actually create the image. I'm going to grab my prompt in ChatGPT first. Okay, so I've added my first prompt, so here is a general explanation of the style. Here is one character, here is another character, and then here's what the characters are doing. Quick double check, I've chosen 16 by 9, yep, let's make it. So click there. Next, it's right over here. You can see it's processing. That looks pretty good. So there she is, there's her cat, and she is all dressed up. I'm happy with that, so I'll keep that. Next, you have options. You can use the chat editor, the AI editor, lip sync it, etc. First, I want to enhance and upscale it, so I'll click there. So that costs two credits. All right, now you've seen that process. So I put in a very detailed prompt here, and I'm going to make these images one by one. So I kept all this up here, but I did change the action, what's actually happening in the scene. So I'll keep everything else the same and go ahead and click Generate. Okay, and there's our new image, and it's just what I wanted. So Gabby is on the sidewalk and Pepper is beside her. You can see the puddles where it's been raining. It's cool, but sunny, nice. So let's do it again. I will upscale it, and now you can see it's working on it.
so now we can download it. I'm going to do the same thing with all my images. Okay, so once I've made all my images, let's go to the next step. Not only can you make amazing images, but you can also animate them. For example, let's look at this one I just made. There's the upscaled one, so click right there. I'm just gonna drag that right there. Next, I'll come over here and look at these. How about if we choose AI video? Click on that. So here is where I'll add my prompt. And if you click on this, you can choose your video model. Kling, C-Dance, Sora, Pixverse, there are a bunch in here. So choose any of these, and down here, each one of them will show you how many credits it costs to use them. Check this out, some even add audio. These text blurbs also tells you what's exactly included in each one. So I don't need audio for that particular scene, so I'll try another one. I do want a higher resolution, so hang on just a second. Okay, so I finally made up my mind. I chose C-Dance Lite, so it'll cost 15 to 80 credits for a 5-second video. I chose the 1080 resolution for 5 seconds, and there we go. Let's click here to generate and see what happens. Here is where it'll show it's creating the video. Let's go to Image to Video. Come up here, choose 16 by 9, and put that there. All right, see Dance Lite? I'm going to try different ones for you. Next, I'll choose 1080 and five seconds. Then click right here. And now it's working. Okay, it's ready. So let's click on it. Yeah, really good. And now we've made our video still inside the same tool. Great. So I'll do the same thing with all my images here. Let's look at one more. So you can see they're all labeled. That's so helpful. So let's watch it. And she seems to be talking, but there's no sound. So that gives me an idea. Let's try something else. So we've made the image and turned it into a video. So what if we added a lip sync in there? Is that possible? Look down here and you can see some other choices. So let's click here on lip sync and try. It's going to take that video and choose the face. So we'll leave that just like that. We'll select it, click to select, then click next. Normally I have everything pre-recorded. This time I don't. So let's try the text to speech option in here. I'll put my text to speak right here. Now I need to find a voice that I like. So I'll listen to a few of them. Click right here to actually hear them. Now I've chosen Emma. You can change the speeds here if you want, then click generate audio. We can always regenerate it if needed. And now it's created the voice. So what I'm going to do is come back here. Okay, now that I've got that, I'm going to choose my output quality. Then click generate. Now it's working on the lip sync. Now it's finished. And there you go. So let's download that. And now you've seen basically the whole process for image and video making using design. So we came from ChatGPT, then created the images in here. Then we turned those into videos, and then we lip synced it. So that's how you do it all inside design. So you don't have to use 27 different tools to create your video, you can do almost all of it in here. That's one of the things I really like about this AI tool. So I highly encourage you, if you've never tried design before, give it a try. Let me share the pricing with you. These are the price plans, monthly or annually. They do have a free plan, but it doesn't have commercial usage, but you can make images and do a few other things using a free plan. So you can definitely use and learn the tool, then upgrade when you're ready. So this is definitely something to consider. You could always come in here, try it for a month and see what you think. If you don't like it, you could always cancel. But that is a pretty detailed demonstration of design and several ways to use it. This is my favorite tool of all because it does just about everything. Okay, so now that we've got all this completed, the next thing I need to do is put it all together. So the one thing I am going to do outside of design are making my additional voices for my story. I'm going to come here, you can Google this, and search for text to audio. So click on this and then choose single or multi. I'm using single. 
Next, I'm going to describe what is happening up here. So I came in here and changed the style instructions a little bit to read it in a friendly tone, as if narrating a kid's storybook. And this is the information for my narrator. Now I've got to choose my voice, so I'll come over here and choose one. If you click on these, you can actually listen to the voice. Then once you chose the one you want, just click on the name. So from the list here, I chose this one, then I clicked on the name, and now it's showing there. Now I'll click Run, and this tool will actually create my narration for all this information. I'll come back in just a minute when it's done. This is the actual recording. If you click here, you can listen to it, or click here to make it louder or softer, and click here to download it. Once I do that, I'm ready to go to the next step. So now I'm in Canva and I'm ready to take all those videos and everything I made in design and the additional voices and put it together here. So I'm going to video and choose landscape. Now I am in the video editor. Okay, so I'll click on uploads and take a few scenes and pull them in here just like that. And this is basically the same process for all of it. So you take all your videos and images and whatever and drag them into your uploads area. Candle will sort them into images, videos, audio, etc. Next, I'm going to come down here and just start putting them in. So I'll just drag them down just like that. Let's try to play this one. Okay, so that gives you the idea. And then once I've got all that in here, then I'll come back and start putting it all together like a big puzzle. See you in a few minutes. Okay, to save time since this video is already so long, I'm gonna show you how I put it together. You can see here are the actual mini videos I just made. Down here below it, all this are the sounds and the narration. So I do have a few overlays up here. Basically all these other things are the videos themselves that I made inside design. Some are videos, some are lip synced, so they're all mixed up. These are transitions and down here are actually my narrations. These are sounds like this is the kitten and the kitten meowing. So there's a lot of things going on here. In the middle, you'll see the footsteps and puddle sounds. Then I put them in order. You see some are much shorter than others. Some I had to cut down, some I had to shrink, some I slowed down. You can see this one's much slower to make it longer to last for the narration. Some are sounds, some are sound effects. So again, a mixture of videos and lip syncs all in here. And that's it. And all of these, if you come to your uploads area, you can just drag these to where you need them. I could place it on top of one of these others. I could shorten it. I can do a lot of different things, but that's basically how you do it. Same thing for your sounds. If you want to add a sound, you can drag it down here, just place it where you want to. So it's a lot like a puzzle. And as you see, some puzzle pieces are bigger and some are smaller, but I put them in order and then I just kind of made it work. In just a second, I'm gonna play the whole video for you. And this did take a little while to put together because it's so many pieces, as you see. It's almost three and a half minutes long. So it's a fairly long video, but such a cute story, I think. So I hope these examples and tool demos help you learn how to create your own animated story. And now let's go watch the complete story. On a drizzly, sort of sunny afternoon, eight-year-old Gabby and her kitten Pepper were getting ready for the park. Pepper, we're going to the big swing today. Gabby instinctively reached into her pocket and froze. Oh no, my bravery button is gone. It was a tiny button on a ribbon and a gift from Grandma. Gabby carried it with her whenever she needed extra courage. We've got to find that, Pepper. Activate detective mode. They retraced their steps. Nope, not here. Or here, or there. Sidewalk cracks, mailbox corner, the puddle that looks like a penguin. Pepper then sneezed so loudly, Abby almost <laughs> laughed. Just then, a bigger kid stomped past, splashing through puddles like he was trying to high-five the sidewalk with his shoes. What are you doing? Treasure hunt? Kind of. I lost my bravery button. So, it's just a dumb button. Gabby's smile disappeared for a second. Not because she believed him, but because that tiny comment felt real. Gabby stood up straighter. She wiped her wet hands on her jacket like she was wiping off the big kid's comments, too. Okay, 
It's time for a new plan. New plan for a button? Yep, because it matters to me, and I've got to go. The big kid rolled his eyes and walked off, but Gabby didn't shrink. She didn't rush. She didn't panic. She took one slow breath and switched into detective mode. And that's when it happened. Abby took a breath and the world went quiet for a second, like the air was holding its breath too. Okay, what would future me do? In Gabby's mind, she wasn't eight anymore. She was a spunky teen explorer Gabby, confident, quick, and totally unbothered by puddle splashers. And Pepper? Pepper became a strong, focused bobcat with eyes sharp like flashlight beams. Pepper, it's time to find the button. Teen Gabby looked for clues like a pro. If it fell off, the wind would blow it toward the bushes. Bobcat Pepper padded over to the bushes like a furry superhero. He gently nudged leaves, sniffed, then paused. Pepper, did you find a trail? Together, they followed it to the park bench beside the hedges, and then a tiny glint of reflected light caught her eye. And just like that, poof, the daydream faded. Gabby was eight, and Pepper was a kitten again. Please, please, please be here. She reached behind the bench and pulled out. We found it, Pepper. Gabby tied the ribbon back on her wrist tightly and checked the button for damage. I'm so happy we found it. You know what's funny? Even when we're not big and brave in real life, we can still act like it. And off they went, two small heroes heading toward a very, very big swing. And if you love finding out about crazy cool AI tricks before everyone else, Subscribe now so you're the first to know when new AI tools drop. Until next time, keep creating, keep innovating, and keep making it with AI. Thanks for watching.